So this is our fuels project all ready to go for processing a tank of fuel. So then would you that would be your indication of when the filter needs to be in your place or when you're having it apply too much pressure. That would be normally the case, but since I back flush my filters with uh, these valves and stuff, okay. then that just says, okay, it's time to back flush the filter. So you apply it, you put something on the bottom to flush it. No, right here, this oh. valve, I open this valve, that connects oh, to this okay. device okay. here. This device is really a, a copy of this. Okay. But instead of holding 20 gallons, it holds three and a half gallons. Oh, okay. And three and a half gallons of gasoline is just enough to back flush my whole operation. Okay. And then you recycle that back in. Right, I push the gasoline backwards through the Y traps, and then once the gasoline's out of this thing, then I just draw, and then I just open these valves and uh, drain it into the bucket, okay. and and one flush is enough. Okay. It doesn't seem to need multiple flushes. So what you're saying, though, is that when you back flush it, it doesn't flush through the, the filters. It just flushes through, and then the residue from back flush is removed from each individual. Well, well the sediments stay inside okay. the cartridge, okay. but the gasoline passes through the membrane uh, backwards, pushing particles okay. that are stuck in the membrane back out. Okay. And then the, uh, and I start at the one micron or the smallest filters so that this filter never sees anything dirtier on its clean side than five microns. And I need gasoline anyway to thin my stuff, so I might as well, you know, use it to back flush my filters every time I, I uh, need to make a batch of fuel. These filters get back plugs long before they get plugged up. Okay. So, um, these are new, a new kind of filter. How long? Uh, I can't even see. The uh, the last step was so dark. On these these kind of filters, how many how many tanks do you think you could get? Before I started back flushing, I had three, three filters, and it was 50, 20, and 5 microns. And the filters would be full after only about 15 gallons, uh, and I'd have to take them right up to the threshold of the pressure right. uh, specifications to get 30 right. gallons through. So when I started back flushing them, uh, according to the manufacturer of the filters, you can back flush these filters indefinitely. They'll last, you know, there's no. I assume theoretically they'll wear out someday, but you know, I'd probably get a decade or two out of them first. Okay, so now I'm going to drain my filters because I don't like to leave the solvent uh, working on the filter membrane because it destroyed my previous set of filters. So I'm going to go ahead and drain them from now on immediately after filtering a tank of fuel. So I have valves at the bottom of each one of these uh, filters and the valve is here. I had to drill and tap the filter canister for a uh, quarter inch national pipe thread so that I could mount these uh, ball valves to the bottom of the filter. So here now I'm going to open the ball valve and drain the filter. And draining the filter extracts the, uh, the mass, the sediments out of the filter, and uh, and also of course removes the solvent from the inside of the canister uh, to keep the solvent from damaging the filter membrane and also the uh, canister uh, itself. And I can also inspect. Since I have clear uh, uh, filter canisters now, I can now visually inspect my filters to see if they're if they're uh, degrading from from the various 
of solvents in the filter wants to drip. Uh, okay, I want to drip a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to drain this, the next one. Each canister holds about a half a gallon. And since I have three canisters, it's a gallon and a half, plus my two wide traps, they hold about a half a gallon as well. So ultimately I end up with uh, about two and a half gallons of sludge that I drain from my filter. This canister leaked a little bit around the O-ring, so uh, I'm going to try tightening that up by hand. Hope that eliminates the leak. If not, I'll have to probably buy a new O-ring. See the new O-ring, and I'm using, uh, by the way, uh, Viton O-rings for my uh, filters. These are originally designed to be water filters, but they're actually designed to filter almost anything. And in industry, almost anything is filtered. Now, my goal is not to have any leaks in this process. All right, so the third, this is the five micron filter I'm draining. And since this whole apparatus is vented right now, I don't have to uh, pressurize it to drain the sediment. I just open the valve and it just comes out. Okay, and the bucket is now almost full. And the bucket holds, I think, about two gallons. Filter membranes look good. The seals didn't deteriorate. So I think it's going to be a good process, and these filters should last indefinitely. It's always good to have rags on hand for this, too. Okay. Next will be the Y trap. I have two Y traps right here. This is 40 mesh and this is 80 mesh. And they're the first step out of the tank. Okay, so this is where I drain the Y traps. And uh, what I did is I put hose barb fittings on a uh, vent on the Y traps, and then I put a hose on it, another hose barb fitting on a ball valve, and then a uh, and then and then a uh, elbow and a plug. Now I can open up valve and drain my Y traps. Dribbles. All right, that's good enough. Okay. Oh, always good to have the rag handy. Nasty business.
draining the Y traps and the filters after each uh, batch of fuel to be filtered. And then if if I was going to uh, create another batch of fuel, I'd need 20% uh, of that to be gasoline to send out the oil anyway. So I would use that gasoline to back flush my Y traps and my filters, uh, which would be a repeat of this process that I just showed you, uh, but with clean gasoline going backwards through the filters. And then I'd drain them off, and that'd be a good enough for uh, uh, of back flushing to to uh, process another 20 gallons of fuel, no problem.